The historic Woods Inn overlooking Forth Lake and Inlet presents Adirondack Journal. Good morning, I'm Gary Van Riper. Welcome to Adirondack Journal. Inlet is known as the biking capital of the Adirondacks. And every second Saturday in June, you can find people out running black flies on their bicycles. It's the Black Fly Challenge. And today I'd like you to meet one of its organizers, Dave Scranton. Dave is busy preparing for the 14th running of this mountain bike race from Indian Lake to Inlet. The 40 mile long course takes bikers through the beautiful wilderness of the Moose River Recreation Area. The trail heads up and down the terrain past Round Top Mountain, Sugarloaf Mountain and Cellar Mountain to the final descent to Inlet's Fern Park. A lot of people consider it a victory just to finish uh, something this long, plus you know you got uh, plenty of elevation changes out there. It's really beautiful, but it's a lot of work. The uh, thing about it that it makes it so appropriate here, I think, is, uh, uh, you know, the Moose River Plains is this huge 50,000 acre wilderness it's right over here. It connects Inlet and Indian Lake. And uh, it's really the only event in the Adirondacks of its length and scale that, uh, uh, and it may be one of the few that is left because you're not allowed to do this in that many places. Uh, you can't do it in wilderness. You can only do it in wild forest. Uh, makes the black pipe kind of special. It's funny, I always say it goes from easy to insane because uh, Trail 5 is an old railroad bed going from here to Old Forge or halfway uh, up to Rondax. And it, you know, so the grade is very slight. Anybody can ride it. It's a fun, beautiful ride. And then there's stuff on Fern Mountain or Rocky Mountain uh, that's just nuts. Uh, <laughs> Josh has come down some pretty wild stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> to somebody who's a, a mountain biker, serious mountain biker, you wouldn't find it technically challenging because it's really gravel roads at the most part. Very little single track at this end. To somebody who's a road rider, they th might think 40 miles is a little bit short. Right. But you know, with all those black flies, all that elevation change, uh, the dust, the two-way traffic out in the plains, you know, it, I always say adventure's only a split second away when you've only got 200 plus people out there pedaling like crazy. Yeah. We've had uh, 230 racers almost just the past two years uh, and uh, wild stuff happens out there, yeah. The event really helps promote all of the great biking trails right around this region. And if you don't have your bike, there's no worries. You can stop right here at Pedals and Pedals where you can rent bikes by the hour or by the day. So grab your bike, don't forget your helmet, and add another page to your own Adirondack Journal.